Hi everybody, welcome back to the Super Duty Build. This video is probably going to be filmed over a week or so because I have today off and I'm trying to get some stuff done and then I go home to Pennsylvania for a couple days for Christmas. Then I come back and have a couple days off which I'll try to get more stuff done and then I go back to work. Now I have been getting a lot done on the wiring. I've been running a lot of wires through the fuselage but what I want to work on today is the firewall. There are two aluminum pieces or brackets that hold the battery to the firewall. And I had those powder coated. I have them back from the powder coater now. So now I wanna get that battery mounted. There's also one more thing I have to do to the nose gear before that can be permanently mounted. All right guys, here's the parts to my battery box. Now I did get these powder coated uh, instead of painting them, mostly because it is too cold in my hanger to paint and I could heat the hanger up but it costs a lot of money to heat the hanger up enough to paint so uh, i got them powder coated plus it's just a, it's just a lot easier to have them powder coated um, so what i have here is the bottom piece you can see i've already put a piece of cork on here this will get bolted to the the firewall and the battery sits on here this is the battery box we'll call it and it goes on the battery like this and you'll notice with the odyssey it's a it's a um a loose fit. The reason it's a loose fit is because this is made to put some cork between the battery and the battery box. So what I do is I'd stick the cork on the back of here. Uh, and that gives a little bit of a cushion to the battery. I'm not sure if this came with my Zenith kit or I ordered it separately, but it's just a big roll of cork. You'll use a lot of this in the Zenith kit for the, the mounting the fuel tanks and the wings. I also have a nice big piece of cork here. Uh, that I ordered probably from Amazon. And since uh, this is pretty thick here, I think what I'm gonna do is just cut some pieces from this to put on here. But here's my main dilemma right now. I obviously have to put a sticker on here to make it look good. And Odyssey, when you buy the battery, it comes with this real nice sticker that would look good on there like that. It's nice and colorful. Or I could put on my military themed sticker Battery, Odyssey, model, 12 volt. Of course, everything's backwards in the military. I'm not sure which one I wanna do. I like this one because it's more military themed like everything else on the plane, but this one is pretty colorful. That would look pretty good on there. This little piece of tape I have on here, there's a pen mark on here and that just marks the center of this. So whichever one I put on, I can get centered. I think what I'm going to do is put this one on because if I don't like it, I can peel it off. If I don't like this one, then I don't have another one. So let's get this, this sticker here put on here. Well, it does look pretty good. And I've used the flat black vinyl on here instead of the glossy vinyl. So I just leave it like that. It looks pretty good. Now, all I'm doing here is sticking on some of this sticky back cork. I've cut two pieces for the side and one piece for the front. And obviously I'm putting this on the inside. And this is what gives a little bit of cushion between the battery strap and the battery itself. Here we go. It's done. Now this fits real nice and sug snug on the battery. Um, so now it's just a matter of getting it mounted on the firewall. Well, that didn't take too long to do. Here is the battery mounted on the firewall. There's the little mount that it sits on and the little strap that goes around it. This is the copper bar that I made to fit between the two solenoids, the master solenoid and the starter solenoid. And I'm just putting a piece of heat shrink tubing on the middle of it, just to prevent anything from touching it while it's on the firewall. We 
Well, you can see the battery is mounted there. I have the master solenoid, then I have the starter solenoid. And the reason I mounted them like that is because I have a nice short run of the cable from the, uh, the battery to the solenoid. And you can see down here, I have this copper strip right here. It's a little dark in there, I guess. There you go, you can see that. That connects the master solenoid to the starter solenoid. The starter will connect here. There's still a couple connections to be made on there and there and here. But uh, right now, I can get this battery cable connected. Well, this would be the first cable connected in the basic core electrical system. And it goes from the positive terminal on the battery down to the master solenoid. Now check this out. This is a cable I had left over from my cruiser. And since it's already built, I'm assuming I probably made it too short and had to redo it. So I thought, well, what were the chances that it would fit on here for a ground? So I have it on my ground lug here. And this is the wrong size hole in here. So this will have to get cut off. But look at this, if I cut this off and put a new one on there, it's like the perfect length to go from the battery up to my ground block. <laughs> so might have got kind of lucky on that. I saved myself a foot of new cable. <laughs> so I think that'll work. I'll just cut off this end right here, put a new one on, and uh, I think that'll work good for the battery. Now, one of the things that's important that I do is I want to make sure this is on the cable the correct way. For example, if I crimped it on the cable like this, then it'd be really hard to twist this big cable to make it, make it sit flat on the battery. So I want to have it sitting just like that. So what I'm going to do when I'm going to hold it like this, and I'll put a pen mark on the cable and the, the uh, terminal here, and that'll be my alignment mark for when I take it off and crimp it. Here is that battery cable, the negative battery cable, mounted to the grounding block on the firewall and now to the battery. Now back to this nose gear. When I had it powder coated, I specifically told them not to powder coat this part here. I wanted it taped off just like they do with the threads. And of course they didn't listen to me. So now, as you can imagine, this, uh, this doesn't fit on here. And I've tried taking some sandpaper and kind of wrapping it around there and trying to sand this off and that really didn't work too well. So I think what I'm going to do is take that nose gear off of the airplane and put it on the workbench and grind that off. Uh, powder coating isn't very easy to remove. So anyway, I just have to do that. I want to get this powder coating off so that I can permanently mount this and connect these up. It's not a big deal. None of these bolts are really tight or in here yet that hold, hold this on. So I just have to take these off or take those bolts out. And then the, the bottom of that gear will kind of angle out like that and it'll pull straight down. To do that, I'll take the tire off just to make it a little bit lighter. But it's not that hard to do. It's just one of those little things that I've known has needed done for a while. And now that I'm starting to get things mounted here, I might as well get that done. Well, everybody, you probably can't even tell, but that was filmed last week. I just went home for Christmas. I'm back in town now. I have like one or two days off before I go back to work, and I'll continue on the wiring. The next video will be an update on the wiring. That's it for now. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.